Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, we are live. Oh, hello. Good evening. Uh, welcome to Giving Tuesday. How are you, Christy? I am doing well, and I'm good. Um, glad to be a part of Giving Tuesday. Yeah, we're so glad you're here. It's so good to see you. And I should have said this to you earlier when we, when we hopped on, but your your top is so pretty. I love I love oh, an open thank shoulder. Thank you. I got to cover you all this hair, but oh, thank you. Matching earrings. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, thank good. You. Good. 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 Well, I'm so glad that we were able to connect and chat tonight. And of course, you know, we're so happy to have you at all of our events. Uh, and it's a special day for us, of course. So um, I guess just to start, you know, you and I met earlier this year in COVID. I still remember I was in the car when we first chatted over the yes. phone, trying to like <laughs> coordinate, when are we going to chat? What are we going to do? So um, tell us to start off a little bit just about how you came to learn about Unite for Her um, you know, what it was like getting the care box because you were in our care box program. You weren't attending like an actual, uh, an actual wellness day when we did them in person. How did that all come about? Yes. So for me, um, I was mid radiation treatments. So I, I was diagnosed almost a year ago, a little over a year ago today. Wow. And I had my surgery in January uh -huh. and then I started my radiation treatments and I was mid radiation treatments when the pandemic hit and the world shut down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but cancer treatments do not stop. No. So um, I, I continued through that. And then I found myself questioning like, you know, because of some of the side effects, you know, what can I do that's within my control to try to live a healthier and a, a long lasting life. Mm -hmm. And um, I literally prayed about it. And then one day I got a phone call saying, hi, you know, we want to send you a care package. So I got a call from Unite for Her. And, uh -huh. and, I, and normally I would not answer the phone because I didn't recognize the number. Yeah. But I was so excited. I was told that I was one of the first in New Jersey to be a part of Unite for Her. And wow. that the hospital actually recommended me. Yeah. And then um, I was told just respond to an email and I've been responding ever since. <laughs> <laughs> and you continue to respond. <laughs> yes. In big ways. <laughs> and I say that because for me, when I heard just respond to the email, I'm thinking like, okay, I'm going to respond to the email. But I also thought in my head, it could not be that simple. Like it, it has to be more to it. And then, you know, I was told that, you know, about the care box, the care package. And I'm like, okay, like, this is amazing. And it was everything I needed, like yeah. the nutrition, the therapy, the, the Reiki. I, I just was like, okay, this is, these are all the things I need. Yeah. Yeah. So I was super and, excited. and we hear that a lot that, you know, sort of before coming into the program or learning about it, you know you may feel like you, you, you're not sure what you need, or you feel like you need all these things and there's sort of no organization around it or no direction. And so getting something like the care box or starting to get connected or going to the virtual wellness day, you know, sort of organizes things and sort of brings things into light. Like, oh my gosh, yes, this is exactly what I think will help me. So it sort of just brings to light uh, you know, that gray area that you're not quite sure what you need mm -hmm. or, or, you know, with everything else going on, it just sometimes can feel chaotic. Yes. And that's, I was, I felt like I was in the middle of chaos and yeah. I did not know what I needed, but I knew that I needed something. Yeah. I just didn't know what it was. So even in the care package, it was what I needed and also the things I didn't know I needed. Yeah. So it was, you know, the, the eye patches, I was walking around, my son was oh. like, what are those? I'm like, this is heaven. <laughs> we all love them. <laughs> heaven. I've never done that before. Oh and my I just, gosh. It's a, yeah. It's just that pampering that you, that, oh that self-love and self-care that yes. you just need. Exactly. And then, you know, the, I, I honestly forgot 
And then my son comes in and he's like, you know, um, what did he say to me? You have a box, right? Outside. And I'm like, well, go get the box. Cause you know, I'm laying on the sofa. Yeah. <laughs> he comes back with this box and he's like, it's from the cancer people. And I'm like, the who? The cancer people, what cancer people? And he brings it over to me and I'm like, oh my God. Because he recognized the symbol, the Unite for ah, Her symbol. Yes, yes, So yes. I'm like, what? And he was like, it's so heavy. Oh but by the gosh. time he got it to me, I was just taken aback. It took me at least a week or two to even be able to articulate yeah. the, the blessing of the care package and what was contained inside of it. Yeah. And it was literally what I needed, but also what I prayed for. Yeah. So it was a blessing to me as well as to my son, even to this day. Like you, we did the shopping. Oh, you remember? Oh. <laughs> you remember we I, did the I, shopping. Oh my gosh. I'll never forget that. And, and for us, you know, when we're thinking of our nutrition program pre COVID. I mean, it did look, it didn't look very different, but it looked quite different. And even when you and I did our virtual shop, that was still early on. I mean, you were one of our first to sort of be like, okay, we're doing this virtual shop thing. You know, it was sort of the beginning of our transformation. And now, you know, with, with cooking classes, virtual cooking classes and sun basket meal mm, offer, oh op, uh, offerings, like everything has really transformed over the last year. But when we first did our virtual shop, we were sort of really in the beginning of like, okay, we're going to see if this works and how effective it can be. And I mean, was it not a really it great was, experience? Yes, very <laughs> much so. Especially because like for me, Unite for Her is the virtual experience is all I know. Yeah. Because I came in the middle of the pandemic, but because I was mid radiation and, you know, before I even began to say it, people kept saying to me, be careful your immune system is compromised. My last visit to my oncologist, my question to him was, um, is there anything that you, that I should do? Mm -hmm. and, and he looked at me and he usually smiles and, and makes jokes, but he said, don't get COVID. Mm -hmm. So I chuckled, mm -hmm. he did not, mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. when I looked at right. him, he was serious. And he was like, don't get COVID. And I'm like, yeah. okay. so. Once he said that to me, if, and I know we can't live in a world of fear, but I knew right. that I had to be extra cautious. It was like so, that reality check of like, oh, okay, yes. this is real. Like, so I'm like, I, before Unite for Her, I was doing BJ's, um, shot yeah. right, yeah. having it delivered to my house. Yeah. But it wasn't the best nutrition. I was just going on what I was used to buying until we did the virtual shopping. Yeah. My son is eating whole wheat pasta and he doesn't even know. <laughs> oh my God. Like the That's best thing ever. I, I, check that off the box. I love that. <laughs> with, with the Simply Ragu. Yeah. He, he doesn't even, he has never even asked me. I yeah. just made the switch. Yeah. Did yeah. the same exact thing, presented it the same way. Mm -hmm. He says nothing. No difference. Right. No difference. Right. No difference. So that was a, yeah. definitely a blessing for the two of us. I love that. And, and, you know, and, and I mean, we sort of, we regularly advocate for making simple shifts, like simple upgrades, you know, that fit every household, that fit every family and every member of the household. It's all about making simple shifts and upgrades in a manageable way. You know, especially now, I mean, when you and I had our virtual shop was the time of nobody could find toilet paper, nothing was on the shelves, <laughs> you know, like we were, it was exactly. like that stressful time. And so it was like anywhere you could just make these simple shifts that you could just feel like, oh, I'm doing something right. I'm doing, yes. I'm doing something good. It doesn't have to be grandiose changes or things you can't reach for, you know? Mm -hmm. So and I love I've that. Shared that. I've shared that with like family and friends yeah. who also are not necessarily suffering or battling cancer, but want to live a healthier life. I'm like, well, Absolutely. Erin said, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Erin said, do you don't want it to be like a job? So right. you make simple switches to what you do. Right. And then eventually you'll go, cause you know, often we think I got a diet. 
Yeah. Like I had mushrooms the other day. I've never eaten. I'm 41. Uh huh. But hey, <laughs> right? I love it. Better late than never. Better late yes. than never. <laughs> and I'm like, ooh, these mushrooms were good. Right. And it was a part of the sun basket. Oh, the, I love that. Oh. And I had um. Will you call so those? Sh- Go ahead. Go ahead. I had the. Those, they taste like cabbage to me. Brussels sprouts. Oh, Brussels sprouts. You told me that. Mm-hmm. You told me like the way you cook them. Oh my God. And I I, some baskets sent them and they told me how that. to cut them up. And, oh my God. I love I that. Kinea, the shrimp today for lunch. <laughs> so good. So good. Well, and I'm glad that it. you bring that up because I think sort of in this whole evolution of our nutrition program, the sun basket sort of being a way to bring in new foods, foods into the home, new, Mm -hmm. just teaching you how to prepare things differently. You know what I mean? Sometimes I think all you need is a little bit of guidance like that. And the quality of their meals, the quality of their ingredients, they, it's it's been such a wonderful organization to work with. And it's been so well received Mm -hmm. by our community for those exact reasons that you say. It, well, between, I wanted to say it was a secret, but we're live, so it's not really a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody tell. Nobody share. <laughs> but do this. So what I do is like when my, my sun basket orders come in, mm-hmm. I, you know, I get them ready. But as I prepare them, I keep the insert so yeah. that I can do like a, what my mom used to do, um, the recipes. Oh, yeah. So now one, it teaches me portion. Because now with perishables, you don't go out and buy like, it's just me and my son. So I'm buying a whole head of cabbage. I'm buying a whole pack of organic celery where they sent me two little stalks, some baby um, bok chow I did yesterday Mm -hmm. with the Chinese ramen. So good. And (laughs) and, And the crazy part is... I feel bad. My son, he was like, I'm going to make him come in here in a few minutes. But yesterday when I made the ramen noodles, he said, oh my God, that smells so good. Mm. And I felt bad because it had eggs. Okay. He's allergic. Right. So I'm like, we're going to make this again because I saved the recipe. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. There's no law saying you can't save that recipe. (laughs) That's not a law I know of. (laughs) I'm like, oh, so I'm going to save this and make it without the egg for my son. And then today when I had the shrimp um, paneer, he came in and he was like, that smells so good. And my son is a stickler about what he eats. Yeah. And I'm like, it has shrimp. And then he just put his head down. I said, don't be sad. Right. Now I know that when I get my son basket, number one, not to include the ingredients that he's Mm -hmm. allergic to, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. put those aside and then so that he can have some. But also I said, we're going to go to the supermarket, get the ingredients we're going to make our own oh. using the little recipe cards. Yeah, perfect. The fact that he can smell it and he's oh. saying it's good. Uh-huh. This is a that, nice way to help his taste buds. To- <laughs> and that's exactly what it is. Like you are being, how old is he? Nine? He's nine and a half. Nine and Don't a half. the half because he'll be I, upset. Oh, no, right. Like, right, right. We're practically 10 at this point. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> That's what but, you told me today. I'm almost at a double digit. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I will say for the record, double digits were a great time in life right then. I remember oh, the big double digit <laughs> oh, <here laughs> you know, he party that happened. But um, the example that you're setting for him, you know, bringing him into the kitchen, like, hi, William. How are you? <laughs> We're talking about you. Yes, talking about Aww. recipes. Mm-hmm. I know, I was just telling her yeah. that we're going to create our own. Because you can have that. the shrimp and the eggs, right? I love that. Right? Teamwork. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> I love that so much. I love Because, I mean, food is a family affair. It really is. And the example that you're setting for him and doing this together, it. I mean, you're you're helping mature his taste buds. I always say these are like life skills that he will take with him forever as he learns to be comfortable in the kitchen, you know? And he loves the kitchen. So he loves to cook. So we're definitely going to incorporate more of that and let him, Mm -hmm. I I did what you said too, that he can take part in it. And the sun basket also, it says the kids can help with, like on the side of the recipe, it's a little corner that says kids can help with 
like um, washing the that. carrots. And I'm like, oh, so wonderful Xbox into the kitchen. I, I love well, that. He said, <laughs> mm. <laughs> he's like, maybe not a hundred. <laughs> exactly. But a little less. I love, I mean, that is, it's so important. And as a parent, just being that good example, you know, and just, and showing them that it's manageable and good food and healthy food tastes good. We want food to taste good, you know? Yes. So oh my God. I, I think that you're, I mean, it's just what you two are doing together and how you're just supporting one another, even though he's nine and a half. I mean, I think <laughs> it's like invaluable, you know? Thank you. Thank you so much. Like it's been an absolute it. blessing to the both of us. Like, you know, he's, he's gaming his hard way. But I'm like, you know, you're going to come in, you're going to say yeah. hello. Cause, and then he's like, why do you have to do um, Zoom all the time? I'm like, it's the cancer people. Oh. <laughs> right? Well, and we, and so I'm glad that you brought that up because I, you know, if you had, the reason we asked you to do this is because I think you're such a wonderful advocate for others to share, you know, you. to be a good example. So if you had to, sort of share what this program meant to you. And, and if someone is sort of, you know, on the fence of, you know, should I reach out? Should I not reach out? What would you say to them? Answer the call. I oh. literally just said that to my, I'm going to try not to get emotional about it. Oh, I me too. I wish I had tissues nearby. <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, answer the call because I literally reached out to Susan and I forget her name. And I apologize for that. But okay. I just sent them an email today. The one of my, she's a dear friend to my heart. And she was with me through the entire process from, I remember the day before Thanksgiving when the breast surgeon told me I had cancer. Mm -hmm. And she told me that I wasn't going to have cancer, right? Okay. Don't worry about it. You're not going to have cancer. You know, we're going to remove yeah. whatever it is. But even if it was early cancer, it's not cancer. Yeah. So I'm like, listen, don't have me come here the day before Thanksgiving for you to tell me anything other than that. Right. Right. Because then it could right. wait to the following week. But she, <laughs> she kept saying, you don't have cancer. So anyway, long story short, I'll go in and, and she tells me mm. you have cancer. She's more devastated than I am. Yeah. She's like, I didn't read this. I would have called you. And I'm like, don't call me. I'll call you. Right. That's not what <laughs> Yeah, don't call me early. I'm perfectly <laughs> fine with showing up to my appointment, right? But um, oh. she, so she finally told me that I had cancer. And because I didn't expect it, I was headed back to work. Yeah. And on my way, on my drive, I called my friend and I was like, I have to cry. I have to cry before I get to the office because if I don't yeah. cry now, when I get to the office and they ask me, I'm going to cry. Yeah. He was oh. like, it's okay. Let's just cry. And fast forwarding, she was just diagnosed with breast cancer in October. Wow. And she had surgery. She walked with me through the entire process. Even when I was going to get my biopsy, she was there holding my hand, giving me coffee. Um, and oh, all the important things. Yes. And I, before we found out about this, I called her the day that I got the call from Unite for her. I called her the day that my care package arrived. I sent her pictures. I sent her pictures with the, the collagen yeah. thing in yeah. my eyes. <laughs> I told her about the physical therapy, the Reiki, the virtual shopping, yeah. the sun basket, how I was getting vegetables every week oh, from Lancaster yeah. Farms. I yeah. told her about the cream that was so helpful. Oh. Instead of that Fever. sticky, greasy aquaphor, yep. um, I told her all those things. And then when she, it was her turn, I told her, you have to connect to Unite for Her. Oh you my have gosh. To. And I, oh. they sent her an email and she did it because she also lost her husband like the day after. Um, and today oh. I said to her, because she's in a better headspace and I can tell. I said, okay. I know they emailed you. I know they had to because I sent them the information and I know they did, but I, you probably overlooked it. So yeah. I'm going to tell them again, you yeah. pay attention to your email yeah. and make sure you answer because all the questions, all the questions and concerns I had, all the things that I was saying, God, like, what do I do physically? Yeah. What do I do 
to make sure that I'm dieting, eating healthier. What do I do? That's Unite for Her provided me not just the answers, but the resources to do it. So yeah. now I have no excuse yeah. whatsoever. Yeah, never so I told her today, it to you. They're calling you. And again, I say, answer the call. It will be the best decision through this entire process that anybody could possibly make in their life. And that's why I said to my son, when he said, why you're always on Zoom, I'm always on Zoom for work. So that's what he thought I was doing. But yeah. when I say to him, it's the cancer people, or when yeah. he sees me in my pink, yeah. he already knows, <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh, um, it's not for work. <laughs> yeah, his whole demeanor changes. And I'm like, you have to come in. They've helped mommy so much. They've helped us so much that when they say anything, we're coming. If only I could return to unite for her the gift and the blessing that was bestowed upon me, any opportunity I have to do so, I will. We Answer so appreciate just sharing that message. And and hopefully hearing, I think those words of answer the call are so profound. You as a poet are so profound. <laughs> Thank um, you. <laughs> you know, that I, I hope that, that that's the message that someone hears or, or for today for Giving Tuesday, that that is what will bring someone to say, I will offer, I will, I will donate, I will, you know, provide whatever you can. Mm -hmm. so that we can continue to be the call for, for people. Can I, can I also say that as far as like donations? Yes. I took part in the Harvest Fest virtually. Yes. Yeah. I can only imagine what it was like pre-pandemic, right? <laughs> <laughs> I felt fun. like royalty, <laughs> right? I felt like royalty. I'm like, this is amazing. Yeah. But what stuck with me the most was the amount of donations that were pouring in within minutes. Yeah. And it allowed me to see the other side. Like, okay, this is Unite for Her family. And this is yeah. how they came about. But these are the people who hear our stories and our testimonies that say, I can help. Yeah. I'm going to make a donation. Yeah. These are the people that says, I have a loved one, I have a family member, I have a uh, wife or whomever who suffered through it. And because of that, I understand and I'm gonna donate because mm -hmm. without those donations, I wouldn't get a care package with $2,000 worth yeah. of stuff inside there. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to just open my door on, on Wednesdays and get my vegetables from Lancaster Farm. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to get some basket deliveries every Monday that's going to feed me and my son. Yeah. It's the donations yeah. that also help and was able to be able to bless us to the point that it literally is a gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. Over and over again. So I want to also say thank you to everyone who, who was able to make a donation because it's because of those donations that we're able to receive the gifts that Unite for Her gives us. Yeah. So thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that was so beautifully sure said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I don't, I don't have it right better. written down. It's just, it's no, in my I, heart. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I love you, you guys, be, and you're my family. And and <laughs> guess what? You're never getting rid of us, whether you like it or not. Yeah, I'm always going to be here. So thank you so much. Uh, and and. Thank you for being part of our family and being a positive example to your son and to others and for just continuing to pay it forward to others. You know, it, it goes miles and miles. And um, so we thank you and thank you for being here and just sharing, you know, why, why Giving Tuesday is so important to us, why donations um, are imperative to our mission, because we want to keep giving, keep making those calls so people can keep answering those yes. calls. I thank love that. Thank you so much. Christy, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful, safe and happy holiday season. Um, and I'm sure we'll be seeing more of you, but thank you so yes. much and say hi and to your wonderful you. son. <laughs> I will. Thank you. I hope the same for you too. Oh, thank you.
Take care.